Hello, 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 Tutal here coming in the next episode to bring you another video series. Because I live! I live indeed! Uh, it's been a while since I've done a recording. Just haven't felt like doing it. Oh well. That's part for the chore on my channel, I guess. Uh, anywho, it's gonna be once again of a game of Red Dragon. War game, Red Dragon, be precise. I've played multiple war games on this channel. One of them with my brother. I wish we could do another one of those again. We'll see. And two of these. If we go to the solo campaign here, we've done the Busan Pocket of South Korea. We've done the Bear vs. the Dragon as China. And now, Pearl of the Orient as the United Kingdom. Or more specifically, a commonwealth here which is both easy and hard and I'll explain more once we get in and cutscene June 1982 the Falklands War Margaret Thatcher's war ends in a complete British victory the Iron Lady is at the top of her popularity and influence. September 1982. While on an official visit to Beijing, the British Prime Minister expresses Britain's wish to see China extending the lease of Hong Kong. Deng Xiaoping counters this by putting forward China's will to recover all of its territories that are still under foreign administration. 1983. For a year, negotiations are pursued with no positive results. When they reach a deadlock, the Chinese premier bluntly states that he could walk in and take the whole lot this afternoon. Encouraged by her aura as a victorious war leader in the Falklands, the British Prime Minister takes up the gauntlet and orders the reinforcement of Hong Kong's garrison. In retaliation, China masses troops on Hong Kong's border, hoping to force her to reconsider Britain's position. Six months later, the Iron Lady hasn't yielded an inch, and even convinces several Commonwealth states to stand alongside Britain. April 19, 1984. When it was unable to recover through diplomacy, China decides to recover by force. On April 19, 1984, at one minute past midnight, China recalls its ambassador to Great Britain after transmitting a last declaration of war. Sorry about that. I thought I heard someone in the house. Hmm. Anywho. Yeah, I don't think they could walk in. General, the Chinese preparations to, uh, to invade are more advanced than initially thought. Our intelligence estimates that their troops will cross the border at dawn. Your task force is in route, but will only reach the sh our task force is in route, but only reach the China Sea in about ten days. You must absolutely keep Hong Kong out of reach of the Chinese troops until reinforcements arrive. The Prime Minister can then start diplomatic negotiations. Needless to say, these will be greatly influenced by the outcome of the fighting. Our armored units deployed to the Tuzvan Plateau and are ready to move in to engage the enemy, sir. The plateau is a critical logistics platform. We will not survive if we lost it. The RAF and Australian planes are on full alert. They are being deployed to Lantu and Kulwun airports. Our Commonwealth allies are urgently sending us reinforcements. The Canadians should arrive tomorrow by plane. With their help, we must hold Hong Kong, Hong Kong, Hong Kong for as long as possible. Thank you. Thank you. Now you're going to hear the music cut in and out, unfortunately, in the sound. Because I currently have a mod on that makes the campaigns more fun. This one, none of these are really changed except for one of the Chinese units, which is unfortunate. But it adds in mainly this for the, the mod is mainly for the uh, second Korean War. I'll say it's, it's um campaigns plus and it makes it so much better. But you only see the only thing you'll see in this is this right here where they have twenty of these damn things, which is what I believe is an update from the mod. I can't quite remember. I just know that these things are absolutely terrifying because they're utter bullshit. 
They're cheap as hell. They have the best anti-ship missile in the fucking game. When it comes to damage. It's a long story. It's going to be difficult to deal with them. So we're going to start sending our Royal Navy Hong Kong Regiment. Which has the worst fucking ship in the game. Command ship, the Type 21. Pegasus, which are... Not frontline combat used for hit and runs and eh. James Rees, which are excellent at defending but have no offensive power and are big enough to be hit by missiles as some landing crafts. I'm going to move them up here to Naval Sector India because uh, these guys are going to come down here and I am going to have to just mass blob this area. Now I know what's going to happen. These guys are going to come here and these guys are going to come here. So we're going to take our see here take this anti tank regiment move it up here take this logistics squadron move that there R and R there this commander regiment R and R gunship convoy get them up there Gurkhas same up here get these light tanks moving along with this logistic convoy here the uh, real Hong Kong regiment can R and R, so they get a cohesion up. The same with this air defense and new territories, close recon company. Because these guys are gonna go here. So since we got infantry there, yeah, we'll move you here with your Mark Tens. Should be more than enough to deal with what we got coming over there. Challenger Mark 1's here. Mark 5, Chieftain Mark 5's here. And that's it for now. Move the Harriers over here. Tornadoes over here. And we'll just see what happens. And then after this, I'll move to my fighter because they're using tank regiments, which means they can't actually um, attack on the turn they move. Tank regiments only have two initiatives unless some of our in special cases. This is annoying how these are going to attack it. They're going to try and come in through this way and they have land spots already, which is bullshit, but hey. We're going to try and block them with Hong Kong and eventually the carrier uh, Arc Royal, I believe. The Arc Royal or Illustrious. Our operators confirm enemy advance towards the northern district in new territories. Hi, doggy. Yes, hi. Enemy force estimates two armor battalions as well as squadrons of attack helicopters, likely enemy air cover. Canadian Canada is sending several airborne detachments that can deploy from Kulun or land to airports. Would you fuck off, dog? Illustrious. Well, so, yep, the airman just authorizes this use of aircraft carrier HMS Illustrious. Yay. Which I'll bring them here. It's the escort. The powerful frigate and destroyers. The best frigate we have here is the Oliver Hazard Perry. Type 21 frigate, absolute shit. Perry is so much better because it actually has a Sea Woods on board. I am going to get the escort here and I am going to move her up here and we'll move you up there. For land forces, can't do anything just yet. We're going to get the tornadoes here. And we're going to immediately put them here. Because we're going to have to really hit this navy hard. Alrighty, we got two enemy fighters over here. We'll probably never see them. But we're going to put those there and those there. You go here and you also go here. Excellent. Okay, the Gurkhas, I'm actually going to hold in the rear for a specific reason. The anti-tank convoy, come here to assist. We'll need your ATGMs. Harriers over here. This attack convoy, gunship convoy, move here. Yes. We'll have you move up. I'll have you move up. I'll have you R and R one more time. Let's see. And then we'll begin to strike, actually. First battle, we'll do it in the uh, new territories. 
we can win this because I already know how to do this trust me all right instead of holding all this shit we're just gonna hold here why because there's only two ways to get across from here that's really in these two bridges and they can theoretically come around this way if they wanted to or come across here this way but the only way to get here is through hell so SAS to take control of that area Twelve territorials. Put you here. You can go here, and you can go. Oh, you can go right there. What's the cheapest? You guys. Well, I'll get you, so you can help spot. Tank support. Chieftains. some helicopters to deal with the low armored shit probably a link three here and then uh, one of these guys and then the rest a phantom just in case and two I can only get one tornado I'll get rid of that for another tornado group and get in there and I already know where to drop my first round of bombs there and there and let's get a cap up oh and this mod as in the ability for aircraft to actually spot ground units oh really scared I think I thought the game almost crashed there I missed that one Uh, I'd like you guys to stay high. No need to stay low. I want you to stay high. Should be fine. I want you in a position where you can actually watch that road. Here they come. I've never seen it struggle this much before. I got one of them. How unfortunate. Oh, I forgot about these guys to move. Whoops. You no longer have any missiles, so you pull back. Stop missing. I hit the right spot, right? Yes, I did. As long as the anti-air gun is gone, I don't really give too much fucks about. The tanks, I can kill them with the Lynx. Ooh, two at once. And now the worst part for them is uh, they're going to get gunked up on that bridge. How unfortunate. be a shame if somebody were to try and take advantage of this.
put our pods over there, I guess. No, I should have had them blow up here. Don't kill anything. Good. I'm not too worried about the SAS dying. They'll. Actually, turn off. Don't kill anything. Yes! Oh, they lost 40 fucking tanks. Only nine of their ZTZ 88s, which are terrifying. Well, I say are terrifying. They're pretty good fucking tanks, but they lost all their ZTZ uh, 59 2s, which is a T52, I believe. Oh, I could look over here. No, the T54. Weird. That's like that one crazy weird VT76. Your ZTZ 88s are uh, a uh, really upgraded version of the T50, I think. T55, uh, not 54, 55. These are T55s. I think. I could be wrong. Anywho, uh, we're gonna immediately get rid of these, cause, uh... Oh no. They don't have a command vehicle in this anti-tank convoy. <laughs> and now we're really gonna fuck with them. Bye. Now, the Northern District, if we want to, we can fight, which I think we can win, because, uh, then they got ZTZ-59 uh, as their best tank, and a Challenger achieved a Mark V can beat the shit out of it as well. Those hot helicopters are going to be a little bit of a difficult problem, but we can deal with that. No, I think we should. We'll do that so we can get the morale of our units up a little bit. I guess. I don't think that helicopter regiment is going to come in to attack. Because if they, if I wait for them to attack on their turn, they may get pushed back. I don't have to worry about fighting. I can R&R. &R. But if I hit them now, I get more morale points. And if I hit them now, they don't get any um extra... Aircraft, these guys might come in, so. And I have no anti air other than a few blowpipes. Six blowpipes, to be precise. And some Harriers armed with M9Ls. <sighs> Excuse me. Which are better than what they have. No ECM there. 10% ECM. 10%, so I can outturn them, but they can out speed me. Yeah, evidently these J5s can be outturned. Well, I know they can be outturned by an F4E, but they're, also, they're somehow faster than an F4E, which makes no sense to me. F4E, in my opinion, is one of the best Phantoms there is because it has the Agile Eagle leading slats. Give amount of AIM sevens, which th this one's armed with the AIM seven F, which I wish my AIM, my F four E had in War Thunder. I'm thinking we'll fight this. I think we can do this. We just gotta be careful because our morale is very low. Four of them there. Two Milans here. Another two Milans here to help cover that way. Low pipes here. 
some blow pipes over here because what I would plan on having to do. Then two more blow pipes here. With fusiliers. Here. And here, just in case. And just in case, I wanted to ooh, be tempted to get. Ooh, it was Mark 10. Uh, we'll get one of these because they're. It's somewhat. get one of these because it's cheaper. I'm not going to have the command tank even shoot anyways. Get two strikers. Ferret might be a fun thing to have for recon. Actually a ferret over here wouldn't be a bad idea. We can get a rod in over here so we can see out that way. Let me go and get some mortars. Uh, you know, we'll take away the mortars and we'll put the rest in uh, some harriers. We got 40 left. That's just a vehicle. I think this is fine. See if we can spot stuff. There's the helicopters. If I kill the helicopters, I'll be one happy person. Because they're the most dangerous to my tanks. You no longer have any sidewinders left. Evac because he got anti air. Come on. I only got one. Somewhere over here. To deal with this, need us, I hear machine gun shooting. That's probably because this guy flew too close to the sun. Which he, in fact, did fly too close to the sun. Force are being shot. Whatever will I do? Sky is ours. All right. Unfortunately, they're not um, Zunis, but I'll take them.
Zuni rockets are fucking amazing. And if you disagree, you're an idiot. Got some ZTZs, which should get shot to shit. We're gonna hurt them with the Harriers first, though. Oh, lovely. Ooh, can you hit these guys? Nope. Somebody else could. Hmm, they took a turn. I don't like that. Fucks. Good kill. As long as I can keep them stunned and panicked, they'll be very unhappy and unable to effectively fire back. Which will allow my chieftains to hurt them. Okay, Let's move fast here. You got one left? And you missed. Oh no, you didn't. And the Milans are out. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can have you guys run. Over here. Pretty big guns. Oh, and my tank's shooting. Things have the most amount of points for their stuff. Uh, oh, that's unfortunate. My Fusiliers have no fucking ammo. All right, come back. Uh, yeah, you're well within range. Just keep attacking this way. Fire deposits over there. I know it's position, I just call it pause because it's a lot easier for me to say. Oh, hello. Oh, shit, I hit him. Well, I didn't hit him, but it got pretty damn close. Oh, lovely. Well, danger close, I guess. Oh! That was a beautiful shot on my end. What didn't you say? Mm. Thanks. We have a little bit of a problem here.
Except I don't think your rod is going to help you here, buddy. You got hurt somehow. Oh, that's how. You got chieftains on your side, and that's not a good thing. Someone need a guardian angel? Well, we lost a chieftain. Oh, but it's not going to matter because we broke them. We pushed them back. They have no more MI1, so no more scout helicopters. Lovely. No more ATGM helicopters. Beautiful. They lost all their ZTZ uh, 59s, but they still have their 59As. Lost all their artillery. Beautiful. And only have five of their gear left. Lovely. And now we have some, uh, what's it called? Morale back. And these guys have lost a lot of their morale. Why do you, this guy still has a lot of morale left. But they only got 36 of these things left. Until they get more reinforcements. And now we end the turn and we see what happens. The first ANZAC mechanized units are operational and can be deployed in Hong Kong or Sai Kung airports at your command. Lovely. The enemy fleet is underway, probably to cover amphibious operations. Such a maneuver bodes ill for our flanks. The squadron would enable our this this destruction would enable our own squadrons to rule over Hong Kong waters. The squadron to ship tornadoes is ready to support our ships in this fight. I hate this fucking fight. Let's get the tornadoes there. Oh, the morale of the aircraft doesn't affect the fights in any way, shape, or form. Let's get you here, and uh, you here, and you here, because, you know, these are tanks. This artillery convoy, we'll push them back. this entire area except for the gunships is going to R&R &R. you are going to R&R &R just in case this is necessary you guys will R&R &R and prepare for the attack you will also R&R 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 &R, R &R, so we get the most cohesion Erica, you can R&R &R once at least. You can R&R &R once at least. Um, because I know we have possible incoming helicopters, and it looks like we got a Marine Division coming in. Uh, let's get this here, this anti-tank battalion, which has one of the deadliest anti-tank missiles there are, the ADATs. And if you guys want to invade from here, they have to come in through Naval Sector Golf, which I can deal with easily. Oh, tornadoes are going to be so much fun to deal with that. As well as the Harriers. Alrighty. Well, that being 34 minutes, I'm going to end this video here. This is 2000. Thank you for joining me on this Let's Play of Wargame Red Dragon. Stay safe and as always, have an awesome, awesome day.